Okay, we're going to look at an example here of creating a combo box on the Mac and populating it from a range. So I'm going to create the range here on this uh, worksheet I'm calling Powers. And let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to create a range that's Powers of 2. So here I'm going to do this, and then I'll put equals uh, this guy times 2. Okay, now if I copy this and paste it down the column, uh, let's see. Okay, I have a nice little list of powers of two. And now I'd like to make this into a named range. So let's just select it. Try that. Okay, so this should have created our name. Now, um, let's go over to Developer, and we're going to set up a user form. Uh, let's see. So, go into the editor, and I want to view the code window. And the first thing I want to do is insert a user form. That should be this guy. Okay. And on that user form, I want to create a combo box. Okay. And actually, let, let's make it a little bit. I don't need it to be that big. Oops. Wrong. There we go. Okay. And um, let's get this properties list out here. So I'm going to name this combo box uh, C C M B powers, and um, the form. I'm going to give it a name to F R M. Um, Hours. No, let's call it form combo demo. Okay. And now I want to write some code for it. First, let's do this. In this workbook, let's view the code. And I'm going to do my usual option explicit and then do uh, just something to show the form. So uh, let's do sub workbook open and we'll just do form uh, combo demo dot show. Okay. So when I open my workbook this form will show up. All right, I'll save that much. Uh, let's see. Of course, we are going to want this as a macro-enabled workbook, and I'm going to call this um, combo demo. Okay. Now let's to here and show the code. I'll put option explicit again. And then um, I'm going to use, I'm going to initialize it by loading the values from my range. So sub user form initialize. Okay, and now um, to go through the range cell by cell and extract the values and put them in the user form, I'm going to need a variable of type range, so dim a cell as range, and then I'm going to use a for each loop, so for each a cell 
in range um, two powers and I'll put my uh, next here okay and then what I want to do is um, for my combo box uh, powers dot add item and it's going to be a cell dot value okay let's save that and let's give it a shot so going over to excel macros going to run this guy here's my user form and huh okay i don't see my list though oh Spelling mistake. Sorry. All right, save. Let's try that again. Okay, and now you see all the powers are there and available. All right. That, um, that shows you what to do.